welcome to my channel electronics plus today i am going to show you how to acquire digital signal using LabVIEW and ni usb 6008 tag to know how to generate digital signal please go through my previous video the link is given below in the description we can demonstrate the acquisition of digital signal by acquiring a signal from a switch when the switch is pressed, it will turn on the virtual LED in the front panel and when it is released, the virtual LED will be turned off. For that, we are going to use these components. One tactile switch, a 330 ohms register, a breadboard, a screwdriver, some jumper cables, and of course, NI USB 6008 LED action card. Let's go to the circuit diagram and understand how the circuit works. The tactile switch, what we are going to use, has four legs. This is one, two, three, and four. The legs one and three are internally connected, and two and four are also internally connected. And there are two switches. We can see. One is between 1 and 2 and the other one is between 3 and 4. When the red button over the switch is pressed, both 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 will be connected. We have to connect a 5 volt supply to 1 and 3 and the 2 and 4 of the switch will be connected to the ground by 330 ohms register. At the junction point of the switch and register, we have to take the output and this output will be connected to any DI port of the data action card. It may be P0.0. Initially, when the switch is released condition, the ground supply will be flow through the register and it will be present at the input of the DAC assistant which represents loss 60. When the switch is placed, the 5 volt supply will be available at this point to this way and this supply will be available at the P0.0 port of the DAC assistant as well which represents logic high. That's it for the circuit, let's make a physical connection. That's it from the hardware side. Let's come over to the PC and do the software work. In the PC, open LabVIEW first and create new VI. In the front panel, take Jack Assistant Express VI. In the create task window, expand accurate signal, then expand digital input and click on line input. Now select port 0 slash line 0 which is P0.0 and click on finish. In the configuration panel, don't make any change 
keep it as it is click on ok to build vi now keep the dac assistant inside the file loop for continuous data acquisition purpose create the stop button at the conditional terminal of the loop and take 100 millisecond wait milliseconds to control the speed of high loop iteration if we create an indicator at the data output terminal of the DAC assistant it creates an array of indicators instead of one to connect a single LED indicator we have to convert the array to a single data element it can be done by taking index array tool from the array function in the front panel connect the data output of DAC assistant to the array terminal of index array tool and in the index terminal create a constant and give zeroth index because we have chosen only one digital line in the create task window now connect the output of index array tool with the LED now the code is ready to be tested click on run button and now see what happens as soon as we trace the physical switch the virtual LED glows and when the switch is released the LED turns off the acquisition of digital signal using NI USB 6008 and the view is torn. If this video helps you, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.